we're going to start talking about prisms and prisms are when you have two congruent parallel faces that are polygons that are connected by quadrilaterals so this picture um cylinders are not prisms because they're curved and they do fill the other requirement of having two congruent parallel bases so that's why I went ahead and used this picture but look at all the other prisms um, the prisms are going to have the number of sides that their base has plus two and so what I mean by that is let's look at the pentagonal prism first so it's got five quadrilateral sides plus the top base and the bottom base so a pentagonal prism is going to have seven faces and then a hexagonal prism is going to have the six lateral faces that are quadrilaterals plus the top base and the bottom base. So it's always um, the number of sides of the polygon, that's the base, plus two for the number of Now this bases. one happens to be a cube, but with any rectangular prism I always like to say that it's got the top and the bottom and then the front, back, left, and right, and so then that gives you six faces. It's a pyramid whenever you have one polygon for a base and then triangle lateral faces that all meet up at a point at the top. So the number of faces you have is the number of sides on the polygon base plus one because the triangular lateral faces are going to be the same as the number of the polygon base and then plus one. So the pentagonal pyramid is going to have six faces and then the hexagonal pyramid is going to have seven faces. This is a triangular pyramid which means that it's got a triangle for a base and then the, all the lateral sides are also triangles so this solid has four triangle faces. This is a rectangular pyramid it happens to be a square pyramid it's got a square for a base and then all the lateral sides are triangles so this one has five total faces.